Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. How are we doing? As always, this is All Things Giant with me, Jake. Uh, we have joining us a reigning and previous MVP of a British league, uh, captain of the team, and he's won numerous, numerous titles. Um, we've also got David Ulf. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> No, I'm not captain anyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, just a little intro to little, our, our co-host here, Jordan. He's uh, I found out the other day he was under 23 MVP of the Army Basketball League. Go Warriors! Yes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> as as you've probably seen on social media, there's been a bit of back to and fro in between these two guys. We're still not sure who can dunk the best. I'm sure. Oh, well, well, my God. Between you and him. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that's been coaxing me on. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> so, man, uh, this is Jordan. Introduce yourself, fella. Hi, mate. Uh, yeah, no, just really buzzing to have you on, David. Um, yeah, it's, it, you know, it's just, it's brilliant. Again, you know, I just want to thank you for, you know, how responsive you've been to us. And, you know, it, we're just buzzing to have you on, mate. Definitely. Yeah, no, no, thanks for having me, fellas. Uh, it's nice to put a face to the name. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, two good-looking faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Dave, we're going to start off. Um, we're going to start off with the last game. Uh, we, I've been told by my little birdie Jordan here that you have listened to the podcast and you'll heard that we've bigged you up in every single one. So we're not. We're going to try not to do that on this one. Now we've actually got you on. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but in, in the last game, just looking here, 11 rebounds, nine points, two assists in less than 20 minutes. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, um, I, th I thought we started quite slow. Um, unfortunately, George, you know, reoccurring injury, but hopefully, you know, rehab this week, he'll be, he'll be back, you know, yeah, ASAP. Yeah, ankle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I so. it's it's nothing major. It's nothing. It's just a bit of, it's just a bit annoying. But I mean, obviously, I hope we hope he's back ASAP because he's because he's a big part of the team as yeah. as you as you all know. Because uh, because of, of self isolation again, I feel like you know we're a bit rusty. Missed a few shots, and then um, as we got into the game, we, you know, as you see, we made. We, we made the game ours. Uh, Sam Cassell, shout out to Sam Cassell. Um, I thought he was MVP, to be honest, of that game. Really slowed down a tempo controller game, and uh, you know we just took care of the basics and and big, big, big dub on the road. To be honest, yeah, it was. It's a long way to go, man. Oh god, yeah, really long way to go. I used to, I used to go down there quite a lot with the army. It's like what five hours, four and a half, five hours. It's ridiculous. Is, where do they play? Is it Guildford way? Is it? I just know it's Surrey Sports Arena. That's <laughs> all. Yeah, because I mean, what they called the, was it? Was they called like the Guildford Heat years ago or something? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. You might, you know more than me on that yeah, front. No, uh, yeah, I just know it's a long way. But Plymouth, yeah. Plymouth next week is even longer. So oh Jesus, no. <laughs> we're gonna we'll have, to long, we'll have to get a long podcast on for you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all twenty minutes ain't cutting it. Yeah, no. <laughs> So I've just got a quick one. What was it like guarding Richards, man? He's massive, the guy, isn't he? Like, <laughs> ridiculous. He's just not practical as a human. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Like he's not. He made me look like Jack Hudson, to be honest. <laughs> um, there was a few times where he just backed me down. I was I was hiding. But uh, no, I said to him when we were playing yesterday, I said, "Yeah, take it easy, big fella. He was uh, <laughs> six eleven tall, six eleven wide, yeah. but." <laughs> you know, for, a player, for a player like player like myself, that's what I, I thrive off that. You know what I mean? If, yeah, I, yeah. if I get one stop, if I get two stops, I'm, I'm made up. You know, these guys are like, you I know. Think, if I'm honest with you, I think I, you got I, the hang of him as the game went on. If I'm honest with you, because the thing is, you know, th there's an old saying: you can't teach seven foot. You know what I mean? That guy will have gone yeah, through yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole of his career just being the tallest guy there and getting into the starting lineup of every team. And it's players like you who has to actually work at that position. Do you know what I mean? Because you're giving up like five inches or something, aren't you? Well, no, what did you say? Is seven foot or six eleven? Did you say? 
About six eleven, yeah. yeah well, I mean, when I was seven foot five, let's say seven foot five. <laughs> yeah. yeah, seven five. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. And I, I just, I, he's got a lot of old school moves, you know, the backing down with a, with a hand behind him, and you know, grabbing, you know, and it's just stuff that the rest don't, don't pick up straight away, you know. And, oh, and you're yeah. like, what can I do here? You just feel useless sometimes, but you really did pick it up, you know, you really did. Especially, yeah, that's what, yeah. foul trouble again. I know, I know. Um, it's getting better though. We're getting there. We're getting as a team. We're, we're really getting there. And um, you know, if if we can get a few games under our belt. Hopefully, no more isolation. I think we're we're only going one way, to be honest. But yeah, it's yeah. exciting times. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, just if anyone's listening or watching us on YouTube, we will put subtitles in because we know the Scouse accent is pretty hard to understand sometimes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we'll make Bruce, sure we have yeah, some up. <laughs> Speaking of that big man, what's it like playing for the enemy anyway? <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> Well, I left, I left Liverpool, as I'm sure you mentioned, but um, yeah, it's fun. Man. I'm loving it. I just, yeah. I just smile on my face, you know. I just, I, I love the team. This year. everything about it this year. It's just, yeah. I think we turned a corner, and, and you know, I can't thank Danny and Jamie enough for keeping me. And yeah, onwards and upwards, really. You know, I'm buzzing as well that you know we're not overly relying on the Americans. You know, I really, I, I think Jack steps it up in that game there. You know. I yeah. don't know, you, you you know him better than me, you know, I don't know what kind of character he is, but he's really stepped up recently, <laughs> you know, um, and like, in like obviously Jordan Whelan, you know, stepping up, Zach, you know, young player, it's great to see the English lads really making a name for themselves, you know what I mean? Oh, 100%, that's it, yeah, I think I think we've shown that in the first game against Cheshire, you know, um, they didn't have their full squad, but, you know, a lot of people probably didn't watch the game because they thought, oh, this will be a... This will be a 30, 40 point win. But no, I mean, we just got to stick to the basics, keep things, you know, keep the little things simple. And yeah, is that, is that, Jack's a smart guy. Yeah. I'm not saying too much about him because he wants to begin. He, big game he, got, he, he got absolutely <laughs> battered in that game. He looked, he, looked like, he looked like he was in the ring with Hulk Hogan. He got absolutely yeah, battered. He did. There was, was one. I saw it. It was like it was a high pick. <laughs> Did he say I was loving it? By the way, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I just got to slip that in there. <laughs> no, the uh, yeah, there was a high pick, and I think it was Richards. And I don't know why he did it because he doesn't need to, but he's like proper lent into Jack, and Jack's just gone flying like he was at the other side of the court, and the ref just kind of went, I don't know, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh god. He's theatrical, isn't he? I mean. <laughs> Got, you gotta be, you gotta be. Yeah. Love it. Well, um, yeah, when 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 you talk about that game, obviously you've heard that we've bigged you up. Uh, Jordan's mentioned in a previous podcast. It brings us on to one of our next points. Uh, your rebounding technique. You know, you always have that. Step, <laughs> you always have that step on. No matter what size, we've talked about your your matchup against Jim Lull. and um, we've talked about your matchup recently with uh, Richards. You always seem to have that step in front of your big guy. Like, where did that come from? Did did you watch anyone? Did you develop it, or did like what was your inspiration from that? Uh, yeah, I think growing up, um, you know, you watch you watch your your role models, your Shaquille O'Neal, your Akeem Olajuwon, and stuff like that. Um, and it is a lot of it is about positioning. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm I'm long. I'm quite athletic, ish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <quite odd. laughs> um, but yeah, it's all about position, really. And and you know, as I was growing up, you people like Dalmi Henryman, uh, Jack again. They tell me what kind of where to stand, and if the ball's being shot from a certain angle. Um, if it misses, it's likely to go this way. And over time, you know, you just you just get used to it. You just uh, you two are definitely different players when you're both on the pitch, uh, yeah. both on the court at the same time. You're hundred percent like you, it's just like it's like a flowing confidence. And obviously, you play with each other for years, you know. And I was actually at the um, the final uh, where Jack had an absolute worldie. Um, when when you playing for yeah. Liverpool, like, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was at that game, and like I just think pff, it's special. It was special, and you and you do look really special when you're both on the court together. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah we, that's it. We just bowled off each other. I mean, I only started basketball when I was 16, 17, so 
when you realise you're know, massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, six foot four. I'm six foot four, six foot five. Yeah, what can I do? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, no, but yeah, as I say, we've played together now for, for for years and years, so we know each other's tendencies, and uh, you know, and this you said Jack had a good game yesterday, which he did uh, this week. <laughs> Me and him were really focused on on a two man game, trying to get his confidence up a bit more. And uh, yeah. I think it showed yesterday. He came into his own, and he, you know, and he like Sam, he, he controlled a lot of aspects of the game. So yeah, that's yeah. all I'm well, saying about him. I think that was vital in that game. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, it was vital that in the game that that him and Sam slowed the ball down and really because in the first you know the first quarter slash the first half you could really tell you like. You were both coming off, coming out of isolation. You know, you could really tell. You know, there was misplaced passes. You know, misplaced catches. You know, yeah. But 100%. I think as soon as like we just thought about basketball, and like I said to you yesterday, you know, just strip the game down and make it basic, and, and it, it, it proved that we were the team that ran away with it. That's it. Yeah, hundred percent. So, um, when you say you only started playing basketball when you were like sixteen, seventeen, um, that. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's it's strange, but it, it's very strange to hear from someone who's gone pro because you, you hear all the stories of, oh, I've played this game all my life, or I've played this game since I was five or six. Like, um, where, where did you play when you were 16? Like, obviously in Liverpool side. Um, but I think I got in contact with one of your old uh, scrimmage players. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. It, it, here we go, sports fans. <laughs> he's a he's one of my close mates. He is a stand-up comedian. He's over in Australia doing his thing <laughs> right now. <laughs> Shout out to Kyle Legacy, um, the, LeBron, the LeBron James of comedy. Um, he's got. He, I, I, I gave him a little message and told him you were coming on. So he, he's he's got a couple of questions for you. Oh, here we go. Um, First off, he said, "Can you give him a shout out for teaching you how to how to ball?" First of all, uh, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, he's the reason I played the Vietnam now, Joe. He's a good guy. <laughs> well, he also asked, uh, "Who's a better shooter off one leg, him or Reg Allen?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll go. Oh, that's difficult. <laughs> I'd probably say Red Allen, you know, fun. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Carl. You can't, you can't be. You know, no matter, he's, get, he's getting on a bit now, Red Allen, but yeah, he's still got it. He's still got it. Hey, sorry, Carl. You look, you're look. better looking. You're better looking, but he's, uh, he's a better shooter. Yeah, I mean, I, I see him on Instagram. Like I said, I'm quite good friends with him. I see him on Instagram still trying to... Still trying to ball out there. Um, he thinks he's got a great three-point shot, but it's it's ugly. Um, it's really <laughs> <laughs> no comment on three-point shots. No <laughs> Speaking of three-point shots, I've got something from last night. I don't know whether you realise you did it right, but I said it to Jake and he definitely agreed. There was a point where you got the ball, right, at the three-point line, and you was you looked to pass it, but you realised you was open. It was like the third quarter, I think, and you and you definitely for a second it came through your mind. You thought, "Should I watch this?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, but it was literally two possessions after Richards just completely missed the rim on the uh, on the three pointer. So I reckon that went through your head, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I just want to be like Mike. No, uh, <laughs> when I, you know when I used to play for Liverpool, I, you know Dell used to give me free reign, so. You know, I started shooting the three a little bit, but um, <laughs> now that we're in a team of shooters, and I'd rather try to give it up. And, uh, I'll get inside with a rebound, let them do the thing. But yeah, I might get one or two off this year. I need to. Uh, you got to at least to shoot one. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As soon as you hit one, just do do that. Just turn around like you know it's going in. Even if you even if you know it's going off, just turn around with that confidence. And just no. <laughs> point to the camera and shout our names. That's what we want. <laughs> we can't do, it first. <laughs> do that, yeah. Give it a step, Curry, but uh, doesn't go in. <laughs> a little bit of shoulder wiggle as, it, as you're walking away, like. <laughs> yeah, Jack will just look at me and say, "No, 
Not again. <laughs> I'll do that. Just, just shouting shout, shout, shout like, over to coach, like, sub him out, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want Jack to shoot more, you know, he's got such a fluent jump shot. Mm. Like, some, I was saying to Jake yesterday, sometimes, you know, the guards give him well too much, you know, space. And I think he should just chuck it up, like, just not worry about it. Is it something that, yeah. coach, says, is it something that coach says to him? It is, to be honest, yeah. And, um, you know, we're working on it a lot in training. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a, he's probably a pass first point guard, yeah, but um, is, yeah. he, like you say, he has got a nice touch, and you know, in training, he's he, he's he knocks him down. So, you know, as the game's going, I think you'll find him yeah. shooting more and more, and then obviously his defenders gonna have to respect him more, and uh, yeah. you know, that's when he can that's when he can do what he do what he does. But yeah, definitely I agree with that. Yeah, we tell him all the time, me and Joe, but yeah. He just gives it the don't worry about me and what <laughs> I do. So, I mean, <laughs> we'll leave him to it. Uh, so, you went from the NBL, obviously, a very, very high, high division in uh, playing class. You stepped up to the BBL halfway through last season. Um, obviously, we know there's going to be a bit of a change in pace. We know there's going to be a bit of a change in strength and the way and the whole. Um, ability of different players did you adapt anything to your game to compete with that or did you just come straight up play your game like you've played and see where it goes from there uh, I think it was a bit of both to be honest yeah um, last year when I got when I got to the league I, I played in it previously for a few games with the with the Mersey Tigers uh, way back when back in the day yeah. but so I knew I was aware, you know, the size, the ability and stuff. But, um, yeah, in the off-season this year, you know, I spoke with Danny and, you know, we spoke about trying to put a bit of weight on. Um, obviously, good weight, healthy weight. Mm. Uh, I feel like I've done that, to be honest, yeah. And, um, I just love a battle, do you know what I mean? I'd, I'm not going to get you 30, 40 points. I just love a keep, you know, do the little things effectively, screens, rebounds. Don't normally um, you play forty minutes with the num with the numbers you're putting up. You might get them thirty forty points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's it's, a conversation with Danny, but yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, wait till he comes on coaches for it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of coach Jake, yes, mate. Shall we? Uh, shall we uh, unleash it? Shall we? Do, do you think it's co coach's minute? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll minute. go for it. Go on, mate. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go. <laughs> so. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I love that little <laughs> oh shit <laughs> little moment yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> being the good podcasters we are and the good researchers we are we've been on to coach we've got some questions from coach I'll let Jake fire him away at you <laughs> uh, so first of all he asks what's it like playing for me <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is an impartial podcast, you know. You've always got a place in my house if he kicks off with you, don't worry. This is a safe area. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, you know, I love it. I can't, you know, I can't ask for any more, to be honest. He's giving me the opportunity, you know, as a, as a young Brit who's, who's hungry and, you know, we talk about it in training all the time, What it, you know, what he expects from me. And I feel like... Yeah. As, you know, as we've grown, as the relationship's grown, you know, he trusts me more. And, um, you know, if Brianna and Lyle are in, you know, in foul trouble or do you need those five, ten minutes rest? Yeah. You know, he knows that, you know, that I'm going to come on and, you know, give it my best. Yeah. It's no coincidence, we said it before, there's no coincidence that when them three games you was out, when you was pretending to be injured, uh, that, you know, <laughs> lost <laughs> <laughs> I need a breather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you, you, you also just spoke about um, you putting on that healthy weight. Um, coach also asked, how much extra weight stroke muscle did you put on to prepare for this season? Um, not not too much, to be honest. I'll probably, I was probably 90, 90 kilo last year. Mm. Um and I'm a, well, maybe 1995, or maybe 100, 105, 110 now. So, uh, you know, good weight. A, that, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's just good weight. Yeah. So, I mean, apart from from Richard yesterday, <laughs> in some sense, 
<laughs> so he, can stand at the free po- he can stand at the free point line and he's he's already he's already there pretty much, isn't he? You know, just sticking his hands. Oh, he's a he's a big boy. I told him that yesterday. I said, just keep your hands down, mate, and give us a chance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah no, I do find the added the added weight, you know, it does make a it does make a difference. Yeah. I don't know what it looks like off the court when you're watching, but on the court I feel like you know, I'm 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 competing and I'm I'm stopping a lot of guys that maybe I wouldn't have stopped. Or stopped as much last year, so yeah. I can feel I can feel him hinting towards us giving him a good. Yeah, you look great, man. Yeah, you, you look, look, great. You look awesome, mate. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, it go, no. as it goes, mate, you are hundred percent mine and Jake's man crush. So absolutely, just... <laughs> mate. Have you seen that <laughs> smile? <laughs> Have you seen that <laughs> smile? <laughs> we, we, were, we were actually talking. <laughs> yeah, you better, you better tell your missus to watch out because you've got two of us. Yeah, that know, yeah. Huge crushes on you, so don't worry about it. Appreciate that, fella. <laughs> um, he's got one more for you and he said make sure you get this in because it's quite a like scary one to ask him um, when are you and Jack getting married? <laughs> <laughs> he was expecting something proper serious I know, I know, yeah, I was of, yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble here yeah. <laughs> have, uh, have you got a date set or no, nah, listen, fam, I'm too good for Jack, fella. Don't tell him. <laughs> no, I'll give him a cuddle now. <laughs> I'm too good for Jack. I'm too good for Jack. <laughs> I've also got one, actually, just to extend this. What's the pyjama thing? I've never seen this before in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I understand it, right? Because I'm getting caught up now today. I'm getting caught up <laughs> We told you. We tried to warn you. I like it. I like it. I live for it. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's Jack, really, to be honest. When we're at Liverpool, I mean, after the training, quick shower, and then into the pyjamas. So, I mean, I looked at him like like Brian looked at Zach when he went through the legs on that dunk at first. So I was just yeah. like, what are you doing? And then he said, I just get home and then I'm, I'm ready for bed. And I thought, I took it out of it. So, yeah, I've started on. doing it, to be honest. Yeah, it's a trend. I'm trying to get... I can't see the Americans um, catch it on, yeah. Catch it on, yeah, but uh, we'll try and get Jord on it. I think Jord might do it. I hope you didn't let off the same sound as what we feel like Brion Brady did by, uh, when Zach dunked it. It, it looked like, like he kind of just went, huh? Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, could, Zach is uh, oh, he's an athlete, man. He's unbelievable, to be honest. Six yeah. foot, six foot one doing that. Stop it. Is it? Stop is it. that all he is? I thought he was small. Well, I think, yeah, I think he was. If you ask him, he's 6'4", but, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he was 6'1", but he, he's, oh, he's bouncy as hell, man. He's, he's a freak. He's an athlete. I'm really hoping we keep keep hold of like, all the, like, this core of English lads now. Yeah. I really do. Because I know, obviously, Americans, I mean, I'm not saying they will move on, but, you know, tend to move on, you know. Um, but I really hope we keep this core of British lads because I think it's vital. I think it's absolutely vital. It's the majority of the team. Like I was saying the other day, my mate asked me like, how many English lads have we got, and it's like, what is it, six, six English lads? Six you know, or seven, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's seven. Well, well, half the team pretty much is English. We've got one European, and then you know the four Americans. So it's a massive part of the team. I'd say hundred percent. And and this year, I think I think the core British guys are really. Uh, They've really stepped up, um, yeah. and um, I'm I'm enjoying it. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. We're having fun. Just obviously, it sucks not to have the fans. And I think, I yeah, think, mate. I think this year, oh. especially this year, I think, yeah, um, <laughs> mate, we, 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 we really feel for that because I, I don't. Obviously, you were there uh, when you joined Power Three last season. You've obviously heard how ridiculously loud the fans get in general, yeah. um, and it's it's just it's such a positive energy, regardless of our record. If we got close in a game, if it came down to last minute, um, even the first basket, it ju- it just used to it absolutely erupt in that place. Oh, there's nothing better to be honest, mate. Um, Me and Jake are trying like, to sneak out. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Me and Jake are trying to sell ourselves as hype men to, to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in there I know, yeah, yeah definitely. Mate, no. if, if, if what it takes is for me and Jordan to come in in a mini skirt, some pom poms, and go on at half time, oh, I'm happy. I'm to not do that. bothered. I, I honestly, I'm not bothered, me. 
Don't do that, fellas. Jack will get excited. <laughs> you put some pyjamas on and it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey speak, speaking of coach, by the way, what I want to know is, because he seems quite... I mean, I've seen him go mad at rest before, which is hard not to sometimes, but yeah. has he ever absolutely chucked this kitchen sink at you at half-time? Like, not you personally, but the team, like, wait, wait, for. Bloody hell, all right, mate, you know. <laughs> yeah, 100%, but, that, I mean, that's that's what a coach, you know, does, and sometimes sometimes we need it, sometimes, I mean, a bit like yesterday, the start of the game, we just, you know... It's all coming out we, now, go on, what did he do at half-time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like, you know, like Jack had a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God didn't even touch him, it was Danny, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, when, you know when we're when we're doing things right, you, you know he lets the game flow, he lets us he lets us play. But obviously, when we're not like a coach should, uh, he lets us know, you know, and we regroup and we re-energize and we go again. But it's good, yeah. It's a shout out to the fans as well. Obviously, <laughs> last year was a was a bit of a nightmare, um, but you know we were still packed out. Was it a weird yeah, yeah. court to play on that? Because it was like laid out, wasn't it? Was it a weird court to play on? It was, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it had a few, uh, it had a few lumps in it. So I mean, <laughs> it when, reminded me of like you know when you're in school and everyone brings all the play mats out together, and you do like front flips on them and stuff. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what it, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of, like, of like a floor you get for kids where it, like it puts together. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that, yeah. No, but uh, obviously the the new floor is incredible, and you know. Yeah. When but when Boris lets us one day when the when the oh. fans get in, you know it'll be a it'll be a buzz, man. It'll it, be. A, it's gonna be ridiculous, and I, I, I tell you now that place. What does it hold? Nine hundred to a thousand fans, like crammed it's in. Two two thousand, I think. Is it mate. two? Oh, what, this yeah, the one new thousand. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. the new one, two thousand, I think. Yeah, so I, I I tell you what, that place is gonna be sold out most games, mate. I, I genuinely, I'd like to think so. Yeah, I mean, Actually, I can't I imagine that. I, I've played a fight. Oh no, tell her you played a finals there. I was going to say, I think technically I might have played in front of more fans there than you. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was just. Back, <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So I'm, I'm going to be dead boring now and talk a few stats because I like doing that. Um, you, you've had you had you came into last season. Uh, over, you only, I think you only played 12 or 13 games at, at the end of last season. Um, yeah. So, you were averaging eight points, eight rebounds then, just across that short space. Uh, you not, you were hitting like 60% from the floor. From that, do you have a little... I know we've seen a couple of shots from you. You love to play under the basket. You love to back guys down, get that offensive rebound and go straight back up. When, mm. when when we talk about like six percent shooting, now don't take this the wrong way. It's a good number when you're a player like yourself that just goes straight back up and gets the rebound. That's like really really good numbers. Um, have you have you got a game that comes out and steps out to hit that mid range, or do are you like strictly just get that rebound, get that board, go up for the foul, and get that bucket? Um. That, that's we go to, what you know, the, the latter bit of what you said. But yeah, I mean, the, sh the shots, it's just a confidence thing, to be honest. But I mean, working with, with Pluto and a few of the guys, it, you know, in, especially in training, it, you know, it, it's coming. Um, you know what? It sounds daft. As a big man, I, I, I've, I've played in so many games where the big man takes a bounce before he puts it back up. And it, yeah. it's probably the most frustrating thing as a coach. You know, we had a guy who played in the army who was six foot ten who used to take a bounce before he put it up. And I thought, you, you know, it was like You're coming you down to come back yeah. up. Yeah, like you know, <laughs> yeah. It's, it, you know, it's ridiculous. And I'm just like, why are you doing it? And but that—that's the thing that that's why your percentage is so high because that's the little thing you need to do right, and you do do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's a simple shot but you've still got to do it you know and you've still got it, it's, it's hard because I know I know the bounce positions yourself and stuff like that but unless you are backing down there's no need to bounce and when you're getting them offensive rebounds just stick it straight back up that's it yeah um, I think it's as a big one we're not we're not the uh, we're not the brightest of, uh, <laughs> don't put yourself yeah, down mate <laughs> I think well, that's just 
guard, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think the dribble is just a natural thing to do, but yeah, as you yeah. say, I mean, get, get the rebound and straight back up, but yeah, um, yeah, the I mean, shot's it, coming, fellas, the shot's coming, so. Yeah. You know. it, I, it was mad, like, because obviously you had the, it was absolute baptism of fire last season, you know, you came in, uh, you know, obviously we had Americans sort of l- let us down halfway through the season and then obviously Delvin, you know, got injuries and stuff like that and it was just such a weird season, you know, like, it, it, for you to come in and like, Jack was really good, you was really good and, and it, it was an absolute, I mean, I know you said you played in the BBL and stuff before and, you know, NBL's growing as well, but it, it really was a, ba- a baptism of fire, you know, and you, you took to it to like a duck to water, mate, honestly. Yeah, it is. No, you're right. It is another level, to be honest. It's, it's it's a big step up, but I mean, I just try and try and listen and take on board as much as much as I can. Um, you know, and it's just basics for me. Do the little things effectively. Be a, yeah, exactly. I like to think I'm the dog out there. Do you know what I mean? I'll be. The, I don't <laughs> oh know. yeah, your self-styled nickname. I've heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> that's Jack and that me? Yeah, right. <laughs> Just when they walk into training, like, today, can you call me the dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, coach, here's a tenner, call me the dog, so all the Americans yeah. start calling him. <laughs> yeah, Jack, Jack started taking it off me, especially when he got elbowed yesterday. He said, see, I, I fight more than you, I said, Jack. <laughs> Oh God! You know what's just, cracking me just, up? Just that what? reaction of you going, Jack. No, no, no. no come on, no. <laughs> come, come down low, Jack. Come and fight us down low. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You, you know what's cracking me up as well? I seen it on, on Instagram yesterday. They, these big, whatever these machines are, these guys are putting on the legs. Like, you know, what is this? Like, you know, like Jack. Jack said he's the dog. I can imagine you on the coat. Coach just there, you're like, your full night zip up tracksuit, you know, acting all hard, I'm the dog and all this. Well, and Jack's there with like, like his rehab thing on, on his leg, man. Jack's getting that done, the girls are doing his nails. No, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I could just picture Brian doing his nails at the back and stuff. Like, oh, imagine. <laughs> oh, Brian. <laughs> I'm saying nothing about Brian, he'll bully me. But uh... <laughs> yeah, no, the, leg, the legs look good. It, you know, age recovering and, and gets the blood flowing and stuff like that. So right. I want to, I mean, hopefully I'm going to shine out this week, but uh, I've heard big thing. I've heard big things about when people are talking, people are talking highly of them. So, well, you're all sound I mean, anyway, mate, aren't you? Is it your sister who's the sports ma- uh, masseuse? Do you want to give her a shout out on here, mate? <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a sports therapist, uh, Louisa Jane, sports massage. Um, Definitely. Yeah, she's, she's up and coming. I mean, yeah, she's got her own business and then she went to Australia for a few years um, to travel and then gain more experience. But yeah, she's back now and she's building. So yeah, shout out to Louisa Jane Sports Massage. Have a look on her, on her Instagram or um, just message me and I'll, I'll pass it on. But yeah, I appreciate that, fellas. Yeah, she's uh, there. She she's, she's, work, she's, she's working with you guys, isn't she? You know, the turnaround, because obviously it's going to come thick and fast soon, you know, because I do think, you know, as the vaccine starts, it, you know, COVID's going to lower and lower and lower and now we're in, lock, in lockdown. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. It's, it's going to keep, you know, like the turnover's going to be massive now, you know, the games we've missed, things like that, it's going to be massive, so things like that are massively vital, so massive shout out to your sister, mate. Yeah, appreciate that, yeah, she's uh, she's been there a week now, so the lads are, the lads are getting to know her and she's, uh, yeah, she's, She's making a few of them squeal, so <laughs> what do you want? I, I think a lot of like sports um, massage, and you talk about the the leg machinery that pulls the blood to your surface. It's come a long way since the wet blue paper towel, like we've all had in our back in our day. <laughs> the, magic, <laughs> the magic spray back in the, the magic, day. <laughs> magic sponge. Yeah, put, put it on there. Go and have a jog off. You'll be all right. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, hundred percent. But yeah, obviously games are coming thick and fast because of COVID. Uh, I mean, we've got a double header next weekend. I'm sure you'll talk about it, but yeah, training all week and then tough games at the weekend. It's what you need, to be honest. So, yeah, um, yeah. it's huge. Speak, you know, huge speak of this, by the way, I swear there's a, a delivery for coming to your house at some point, by the way. <laughs> you know, Matt, has it arrived yet? Has it? <laughs> it is. It's next to me. Here, it's oh, on. Let's in have the, a look. <laughs> couldn't find the right time to get it in there, fellas. Yeah, but what have we got here? Oh, you don't have to eat it now, obviously, but we just want to see it. <laughs> nah. 
Welcome to the Wings Squad uh, from the boys, all things giant. Yeah, yeah, boy. Wings. <laughs> just, 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 you know, firstly, let's not get it twisted, guys. David Ulf, Jack Hudson, and Jordan Whelan all messaged us saying, Where on earth are our wings? Yeah. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> That's it. We... No, it's definitely. Oh, Go on. Oh, what? Sorry, I watched the podcast with uh, with DJ and and I saw the I saw the wings get delivered to the to the house and I thought, yeah, we ain't getting a look in on them to be honest. But, <laughs> no, uh, you know what? <laughs> do you know what? It was it, it was we said we'd do it uh, individually and then we thought to ourselves, you know, if 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 it's just some random like absolutely unreal wings turn up at the door, it's just a DJ. Everyone's gonna think I'm not going on there, you know. So we're just doing it each person. So rest assured, guys, you're all getting the wings. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, Jack, you're not getting them. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I asked, I asked DJ at training, was there any left? And he just looked at me like, what wings? <laughs> yeah, uh, we, also, we also got in trouble for that off coach um yeah we did we we, did we messaged him saying training. oh don't, don't worry about it like like they've had they, they're gonna have them after training um and he messages back saying well not not from what i've seen on social media they've already eaten yeah, some yeah, straight like, away <laughs> <laughs> listen if, if we keep winning uh like yesterday i'm sure coach won't be won't be too mad well but, let's um, Let's give it a two-minute delve into this. So, another wing story. I'll tell you. So, obviously, you know, we always win when I have wings, yeah? Right? <laughs> Might not be good for my diet, but... I don't I care. We don't care. <laughs> I, I swear on my life, I finished the wings at the start of the third quarter. And what happened? 25 to 8. Yeah, yeah. Well done what to happened? you, John. <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> No, we don't, we don't always play well third quarter or as well as, as we do in the others, but, you know, yesterday was completely different and, and we needed it, you know what I mean? We needed to take over the game and we did, so... Yeah. All, all game, so I kept saying... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we... Uh, yeah, we, we... What's it called? Like, I, I kept saying to Jake during the game yesterday, I kept saying, all this is is one or two guys stepping up away yeah. from us absolutely tearing these apart. Yeah. It was, it was. Get a few, so get a few stops. Like everyone it. just steps up, you know, so, definitely. Yeah, well, you know, it's exciting times to be honest. We're really coming together as a team and, um, you know, on any given night, any guy, any guy, any guy in the roster's going off, so. Yeah. Did, what, what's it like playing with the Americans? Like, because it must be really weird, like, I mean, that's the other thing I want to ask you. Do they understand a word you and Jack say, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> trying try, try to make a play on the court, like, oh, it's 52. You know, like, what? <laughs> do you know what, mate? mate <laughs> I, said in, I, I said in the last podcast, I spent a few months out in Tampa Bay, right? And it's the absolute astonishment on an American's face when you don't sound like Prince Harry. And it's like, <laughs> have, you, <laughs> yeah. have, you, have, you, have you never been past Birmingham, mate? Everyone's got an accent, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Uh, at first, yeah, I mean, I'm not... I don't think I'm too bad. I mean, I mumble a lot, but but Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack is a lot stronger than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so when Jack calls a play, Lyle's like, "Can you repeat that, Jack?" Yeah. Yeah. Probably why he threw the ball. He's back up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, yeah, it's fun. You know, the guys are really fun, and they all bring bring something different to the table, and you know, collect collectively. Yeah. You know, one through five. I feel like I feel like we're a, we're a, we're a strong team this year. So, yeah. shout out to the Americans. Yeah, they're doing really well, and hopefully they're loving it as much as much as the British guys. But yeah, yeah. as a team, I mean, the house the house look looks absolutely ace. They're really, Are you a, are you a sneaky bit gutted you're not in the house with everyone? <laughs> is, it, is it just good to <laughs> be home? Like... Not floating about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. No, I'd love to be. Yeah, to be honest, it'd be. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they have a. Uh, I'm sure they have good fun, and you know whether it's on a PlayStation or after the game, I'm sure they're talking trash and. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good so Oh yeah, done oh, DJ. Yeah, DJ's straight away. Like he scored that three yesterday, and he, he apart from doing his bow and arrow stuff, he looked right at the guy, and I just thought, oh god, like. <laughs> yeah, 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 you love to see it, man. Uh, 
They are as good, yeah. No, it's... And Bri- Brion, th- this is another thing I saw yesterday, <laughs> which massive shout out to Brion. Like, he got wound up, got on the second foul. I thought he was going to close line the ref. And then he goes off. And I just saw him pacing up and down behind the bench. And I, it's like Danny had set him for a timeout. Like, you know? Yeah. yeah. He's like pacing. It's like he's, he's just channeling that sort of thing. I, I'm not sure if he got another foul in the game, but either way, obviously, he didn't foul out, you know. No, but, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's getting there. I mean, you know, he's a he's a big, he's a big boy, and he's, you know, he's on the offensive end and the defensive end. You know, with him on, with you know, with a, with a much better team, and if he controls that and continues to play smart, yeah, you know, he's up there with the he's up there with the best. So, did you also see that I was only one point off getting the score right? That was yeah, see that, that was oh, absolutely ridiculous, mate. I'm absolutely unbelievable, man. <laughs> That's impressive. That I like that, <laughs> mate. It just popped to me a boom, just fired it out, and I was just like, "What the hell?" Like when it because I thought he was going to pull up for the three, the guy because he got a layup at the end, and like no one would bother with it. So I thought he was going to pull up for the three, like yeah. he's completely open. And I thought, "I'm on, I'm on here." Uh, I, I mean, I wasn't win- I wasn't winning anything, but you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought we'd score more. To be honest, what. <laughs> is that why like, because there was a point in the game because they had a really good actual obviously I don't know if you've seen the highlights but they had a really good broadcast yesterday on the BBL yeah. Point the yeah. Broadcast. and there was a point where the camera's light was at the side and they was taking free throws towards the end of the game and you kind of I laughed because I thought like you was knackered and you looked at the clock thinking oh for god's sake <laughs> like, yeah. but you kind of looked you, you looked at one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, was looking just, at me yeah uh... Me foul, Sally. I think I feel like I was unfortunate with a few oh, fouls yeah. yesterday, but yeah, as well, the referee said to me, This is basketball. I said, Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not. Oh, is I'm that where one. I am? All right, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wonder why I traveled for five hours. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what's annoying as well? Like, we was absolutely bigging up the referees on this because I thought they've had a good season this year. And then they, I mean, I'm not one what to tear into them unless I'm playing, but wow. Like yesterday, some of the calls yesterday was unbelievable. Like, <laughs> I, just thought, I thought, it's going to be my day, is this? Five hours down, five hours back, and we're going to get beat or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it was, uh, I, won't, I won't say too much about referees because I don't want to get in trouble, but. No. <laughs> but, but, be honest with us too. When you got called for that foul, when you were up, you were taking a break, having to lie down at the top of the key, what was that foul for? Exactly. Just I, I, exactly. I, I, I saw you. I saw you go down, and then I, I saw him call a foul. I thought, oh, it must be an off the ball. And I was like, number ten. Why? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> if I'm dead honest with you, because yeah, I'll say, I'm... I'll say it, mate. I, I, you know, because I'm not bothered. That ref had no idea what he called there. He just stopped the game because he was on the floor and all that. He's like, well, I've got to do something now. You know what I mean? Like... That's what I, yeah, I was, I was, I was confused myself. But I tried to box. I think it was Tail tried to box him out when the shot went off, and uh, yeah. I felt like he shot me in the back. So you know, a bit the floor, and I don't know what was going on then because I, you know, was face down. But next thing, he's at the free throw line. So. <laughs> I mean, you win, you win some, you lose some, but... Yeah. I kept seeing Richards pushing people in the back, and I thought, mate, you're seven foot, what are you doing? Just put your arms up, you know? No. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you tell him, mate. I'm, uh, <laughs> uh... I'm not scared. <laughs> no, I'm <joking. laughs> did, you, did, you, did you not give him a little uh, David Beckham in the Euros, like, kick when you were face down, when he got, he got sent off? Give him a little leg up in the air as you walk past. Yeah, no. <laughs> I play strong, but I don't play dirty. But yeah, the referee oh. saw some of that. I felt like I never did, but luckily it didn't make a diff- much of a difference in the game. And yeah. you know, long trip, but it was worth it. It was worth. What it. did uh, What did Colt coach after the game like? You know, what What was his sort of uh, you know finishing team talk? Yeah, I mean, obviously made up with the with the way the game you know finished, and uh, and, and the second half was just totally different to the first. I feel like the second half, that's what. Going into the game, that's what he expected us to be like. So, yeah, you know, we... I would, I would say, I, I, I imagine the coach was buzzing because I, I had this thought like it was like an away day at the football. Everyone were like a massive, massive bag of cans, and everyone just, go, hey, lads, lads, you know, all that. <laughs> like, we were just flat out asleep. <laughs> Maybe with a bottle of water. Yeah, no, we uh, <laughs> were hyped for about an hour, and then, as you say, you know, people just start 
giving it Zs, and next yeah. thing you know, you're home. So, yeah. I mean, oh, buzzing with that. We're actually we're going back to the wings. Actually, we're going to. Um, I don't know if you heard it on the last podcast, but obviously Jake, you know, working in the bars and managing bars and things like that. You know, we've got a mega idea of like, you know, running a podcast within the bar. You know, we're going to go on a, you know, a big night out when we can. Everyone, you know, because it's like, was it 50p wings or something, Jake? Uh, Obviously, it'll be 20p, on. 20p wings. Yeah, 20p wings. So, so because it's cheap, we'll pay, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> you know, getting everyone yeah. out into that. Oh, I can't, yeah. I mean, I've, I think you mentioned that. I've, I've, I think I've heard you say that somewhere else yesterday, it might have been, but yeah. uh, oh no, there'll be nothing better than, you know, hopefully you can meet the team face to face and, you know, yeah. yeah just walking that. down the line with your neck up, like, how's it going, man? How's it going, man? How's it going? Uh, <laughs> I yeah, told you, you because we have, we have from... a really big teams this year, a really big team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we will, we will meet you at some point, I'm, tell, I'm telling you now, because... If anyone's listening, me and Jake are screaming out. Hi, One more time, listen. guys. Listen to <laughs> us. <laughs> Give the people what they want. I'm telling you now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I can't wait for the I can't wait for the day, you know, the team gets to meet yourselves and, and all the other fans. It'll be uh, it'll be special, it'll be good. <laughs> um me and Jordan have got a Zoom call coming up regarding the twelfth of Feb when we're on Sky. Now you played, uh, the, you played yeah. the Sky game, uh, obviously, against Cheshire. Did you feel any added pressure with the Sky cameras there? Or was it just like any other day? Or was that little thing at your head going, shit, well, I'm on Sky here, like, yeah. checking your hair, yeah. making sure you, like, you know, your eyebrows are good? He defoed in his hair. He defoed <laughs> in his hair. I bet, that was, I, bet that was the old, I bet that was the only game he didn't wear his gum guard. Just walking. Well, I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's get the teeth in there. But, uh... <laughs> no, I... You know, it's not. I don't feel it's added pressure. It was more. I think the guys were more excited because, obviously, we, you know, we're able to showcase. Yeah. You know the the league on on such a high platform. Yeah, so absolutely. you know we we were ex oh, we were yeah we were excited we were hyped. Um, it just seems yeah, to be like every game, like where you know I. Like David said then, where it's a game like on a kind of pedestal, like the first game of the season, you know, we was one of the first games, you know, when we played against Cheshire and everything like that. It seems like every single game where it's like, we smashed Cheshire, it's absolutely fantastic. Like, <laughs> 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 it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no, it's good, yeah, but I mean, Cheshire had, Cheshire had built a lot since since that first game and, you know, I think we got them next Sunday, uh, so we'll... It's always good against always good against the uh, oh. against the derby team. So when when they signed Mike McCall me, uh, and like they was you know putting very subliminal messages you know behind you know fa uh, Facebook just like me and Jake absolutely smashed social media straight oh. after it. and I thought oh God, <laughs> I, after, I woke up the next morning like what have I done like but yeah no it's all <laughs> <laughs> so we've had probably one of the most. From, from our perspective, uh, speaking on your behalf as well, eh, Jordan, probably one of the easiest going conversations we've ever had with any player and probably are going to. You know, you are a similar age to us. You're a Northwestern boy. You've mentioned it in your stories. But just big, big shout out and thank you so much for coming on and taking your time out of your day to have a chat with us, man. It's, it's really appreciative. Well, I appreciate the kind words, fellas. Yeah, no, it's just... It's... Uh... It's good fun, and you know I'm ex you know thanks for having me on, and I'm excited to to see where the team goes, and you know I hope I'm a part of that for for years to come. But yeah, we'll hold tight because we're only going one way. And shout out to to Coach Byrne and Jamie, and you know everyone who works hard behind the scenes. Yeah, um, you know, like it's you know we we go on about about the rebuild all the time, and you know you were a massive part of that rebuild. And, the, you mentioned there the only way is up, and I've not, I've not seen. You know what, what a reaction to last season it is, mate. So it's massive props to everyone, you know. And again, you know, from me and Jake, thank you so much for coming on, and definitely don't become a stranger. I'll be messaging you, giving you grief, and all that lot, you know. And oh, hundred percent. If you message me being kind, I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be expecting, <laughs> I'll be yeah. expecting something after it. But yeah, no, well, it's, it's, uh, so, it's it's so weird because obviously you're like you'll message me after training because I'm up with a little man. It, my replies at like quarter past five in the morning or something like that, yeah. and then I'll and then I'll catch you after training. So it's like once a day, like <laughs> <but> that is <laughs> at that point. But no, thank you so yeah. much, mate. Yeah. No, no, I'll always be there, fellas, for uh, 
for the replies and stuff. So yeah, keep keep on coming, and I'll 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 uh, speak to you as much as I can, and I won't tell you too much because I'll get in trouble. But yeah. <laughs> just yeah. spread the word, mate. Spread the word. We're here for you. You know, we're we're the fans' voice, and we're here for you, mate. You know what I mean? Hundred you know, percent. Yeah. Appreciate it, fellas. Man. Appreciate what you do. Cheers, mate. So that was David Ulf of the Manchester Giants. You know him as the dog. We know him as the Scouse Carl Malone. Um, that was an absolutely fantastic interview with him. Really, really means a lot for him to come on. So thank you for that, David. Um, and we come round to the end of the show. Where we absolutely give our... fantastic our, show. I mean... Absolutely that, that, fantastic. Couldn't have gone any better. That was a real easygoing show. Exactly what we're trying to do here. Just two guys having a chat. And then bringing a third in, joining our conversation, yeah. talking about yeah. basketball. It was great, man. Yeah, yeah. Reconfirm uh, my man crush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that that man crush thing, I think I think that's going to catch us off guard on socials, mate. <laughs> I think, I think if, you make a, if you make some nice little big play, going to be like, oh, we're Jake and Jordan watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to the shout outs. First of all, you heard a name in the episode shout out to david Ulf's sister louisa jane sports massage over on instagram she's working with the giants she's just set up a business she's absolutely flying at the moment and also thank you for keeping our players safe and in shape uh also shout out to seb as always doing our artwork really helping us out on socials uh sharing all of our stuff it's been really 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 good support from him so thank you so much seb shout out to the Le- lebron james of comedy Go and give his podcast a listen as well. It's the I Want to Meet LeBron James podcast. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, He's doing his thing out in Australia. He's really killing it. And yeah, so thank you so much, Kyle, for your questions and interaction. Uh, Shout out to the coaching players. They were absolutely amazing. You know, they're easy to talk to. They're really engagement with us. We're over on socials, talking to us in general, just day to day, trying to put the show together. Um, it's been real, real big help from them. Yeah, I, I mean, I as, as as someone who's you know messaging, they're so easy going. So you know, if you're listening, guys, thank you so much. I know you know we you know it might seem like you know we could you know hound you maybe, but we're not you know, and and you don't take your heart, so we're absolutely buzzing with that you know, yeah, and you've been so respective. Um, so yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for Marcel uh, at BBL Lab or at Manchester Giants fan page. Uh, for letting us on the post-game show with Surrey. Um, I didn't realise he wanted to get us both on. I saw, I saw Jordan go on and I was like, all right, cool, I'm going to go get a shower and chill. Uh, and then I got a phone call off Jordan saying, Marcel wants you on. So thank you so much for that support, man. It means a lot. We had a great chat. Me and Jordan had a fantastic chat on that. So thank you for that. Give him a follow, guys, if you haven't already. See, you know, he's so knowledgeable and he's brilliant. Absolutely, man. I mean, his... his um, take off of what he's doing he's such a young kid he, he's doing it for the love of the game he's doing it for the passion of the game and he's absolutely killing it so go, go and give him a, I'll share all of his links in the description uh, so you can go and give him a follow uh, also of course last shout out to the fans and all the listeners um, you guys are the ones keeping us going you guys with your replies your comments your criticism your feedback that is the that is the stuff that is really helping us make this so thank you guys and it's been just an extension of that for me it's been an absolute whirlwind of a week for us a week and a half for us but we can't you know we can't thank you enough you know you really are our energy you know and it's 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 making us keeping going you know the players are enjoying it you know the players are loving your questions i've had nothing but good feedback even from friends and family who's not watched a game of basketball in their life you know So if you you know if you're listening to this, thank you so much, and please spread the word. Please, you know, give them our our Instagram, our Twitter, everything. You know, we're absolutely you know overwhelmed with the support we've had, and and I just want to also send a, a personal thanks again. You know, to not just you know the players and everyone, but Giants as a, 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 as an organization yeah. and the fans, the fans as an organization, and just everyone who's supported us and everyone who's commented on us. Fantastic, thank you so much. Exactly. I mean, I don't think there's much more to say on that. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been amazing. And keep doing what you're doing because you're the ones that are really pushing us to make this for the fans. So thank you, guys. Um, We go on to the last thing. It's the last week of the giveaway. 
Uh, please make sure that you are following us on socials. I'll leave all the links in the description. Go and give it a like. Go and tag three of your mates. I don't care if your mates like basketball or not. That's going to win you the basketball in the giveaway. Um, so go and check that out. We're, we're announcing the winner on the 2nd of February. Uh, yeah. And that'll get posted out to you straight to your door. And we are all good. Over to Jordan for next week's episode. Oh, shall we announce it, Jake? Shall we give, Do you want to announce it? Them? Yeah, let's announce yeah. it. Let's announce it. Next week, guys, massive. We're staying with the English pride. You know, we're going with Jordan Wheeler. Um, Northwest hype. Yeah, you know, we're um, you know, we're so buzzing to have him on, you know, despite Jake messaging him three times and him not replying, but that's uh... <laughs> I feel like a crazy girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're absolutely buzzing with it, you know. We know he listens to this and we did, you know, uh, we know we know was the vibe. So yeah, you know, fantastic. You know, we, for this week only we can give our trade secrets away. It's Jordan yeah. Wheeler. Jordan Wheeler, so please tune in next week. It's gonna be incredible. Yeah, it's gonna be going to be fantastic we're going to delve deep 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 just like we did with Ulf and DJ we're going deeper and deeper so yeah get your questions in guys get sharing it because it's going to be a big one it is man and I think I think oh, we, we saw that nice little uh, conversation that went on with Ulf in, in this episode I think three Manchester lads together it can either be yeah. pandemonium or it can go really, really well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or both. <laughs> or, or, or the same episode. <laughs> yeah. And guys, also, um, we appreciate your support on the pre-game uh, preview. Uh, you know, we're going to be doing that now, guys, because we had good feedback from it. Yeah. So there's going to be another one. We're going to do it as a double header um, for the Plymouth and Cheshire game. Obviously, a big weekend ahead. So make sure you tune in for the... Um, pre-game show which will be game release when Jake uh, first game's Friday and it will probably right. be yeah. Thursday Friday uh... Th yeah Thursday Friday but it'll be on our socials guys so yeah, if you're following us and everything you'll see thank you very much guys as always take it easy and thank you so so much <laughs>